Good evening. Is he a danger to the community or a different man than the night of the crash? That's what a Minnehaha County judge had to decide as Tate and Stebbins appeared in court today. Back in May, authorities say that Stebbins was drinking heavily and going 80 miles an hour over the speed limit when he crashed into a car, killing two high school students on their way home from work. The crash sent four others to the hospital, including Stebbins. Today in court, we learned he hasn't fully recovered. Extreme speed, cocaine, marijuana, and alcohol. Court papers say they all played a role in this deadly Sioux Falls crash. Tayton Stebbins' blood alcohol was .22 when he's accused of running a red light, forever changing countless lives, including his own. Today in court, the prosecutor called Stebbins a danger to the community. She said he'd been in trouble before on the very same street. In 2020, police arrested Stebbins for going 60 miles an hour on East 10th Street. His blood alcohol was nearly twice the legal limit. A police report says he also had more than a pound of marijuana in his car. In that case, he received five years of suspended prison time. But when Stebbins' attorney spoke to the judge, he painted a much different picture of a man with traumatic brain injuries who spent the last six months in the hospital and rehab. Ross Wright told the judge that Tate Stebbins, who caused the accident, is not the same Tate Stebbins who stands before the court today. He's not driving, he has no ability or desire to drive, and requires 24-hour care. Wright says Stebbins doesn't remember the crash and was, quote, distressed to learn about the deaths and injuries sustained to others as a result of his actions. After hearing from both sides, the judge took a couple of minutes to think before setting bond at $50,000 cash assurity. That will make it easier for Stebbins' family to bring him home so he can get 24-hour care from a nurse. The prosecutor asked that he be monitored and tested for alcohol. 